the United States actually has a very good law on the books about foreign corruption and how we don't want to feed into it. So if you give a bribe to a foreign official, it has serious consequences. And we're actually, in some ways, the world leaders in that. And we've been doing, a, I think, a pretty good job throughout the years of making that the new world standard and then other uh, countries are having to react to it and they don't often play ball uh, with the right way of doing things and oftentimes they'll uh, get bribe foreign officials and get contracts instead of us. I get that, that's realistic, it happens, there's no question about it. But slowly move, we've been moving the bar up. So obviously that has to be destroyed. We can't have it, that would inhibit the profits of corporations a little bit here in the United States. <laughs> what a crazy law. So here comes Michael Mukasey. He is the former attorney general under George Bush, so you know he has great ethics. And he has been hired by the Chamber of Commerce, by the way, another one of his clients is News Corp, to make sure that we take the edge off that law. Well, come on. <laughs> we really can't bribe the officials? How about if we bribe them a little bit? And you should read the political article where they have all these excuses. Oh, you know, what, we just can't buy the guy lunch? Well, that's ridiculous. We can't give a contract to his brother? Maybe his brother really deserves it. <laughs> okay, now, the people in this office say, we're not, look, we don't, we have limited resources. You think we're going after people for buying somebody lunch? You're crazy. We only bring the cases if they're rock solid and they're very important and a large sum of money. Okay, when we bring the cases, they're for real, and that's why they usually win. It's actually a rare branch in the government that's working well. That's why it must be destroyed. Because how dare you do regulation correctly, and how dare you stop corruption? So that's why the attorney general's, former attorney general is hired to make sure that they start to take this off the books, and uh, so that, hey, you know what, if it turns out, you know, we had to give all the money to the guy's brother who wound up putting it in a Swiss bank account where they jointly share, oh, I don't know, no, no, hey, we're just trying to be competitive, man, free market, that's how it works. <sighs> Any little thing that in government that works, they come to crush it. And that's what they're doing now. I mean, Casey has always been nothing but a lackey for anyone who's looking to break any laws. The joke is, within the political article, they talk about him as if he's like a respected figure. Well, oh, McKay, Michael McKay's a former attorney general. Why, you know, why did they bring him in? Because Alberto Gonzalez had made a mess of the place, and they needed a guy they could trust who wouldn't turn over any rocks, and who wouldn't do any prosecutions, who wouldn't look into any of the crimes that the Bush administration had already committed. Michael Mukasey was your guy. And of course he came out and said, oh yeah, yeah, all the things were lovely. Yes, there was no problem with the earlier torture and the firing of the U.S. attorneys was fantastic. Uh, no laws were broken. Everybody just move away. Now, foreign corruption, it's the greatest thing you've ever seen, of course. Here comes totally 100% unethical, corrupt Michael Mukasey to talk about how we should take away corruption laws. But these guys are all well respected in Washington. By the way, what's the News Corp angle, right? Well, the angle is News Corp could be in huge trouble if you apply this law to them. Because remember what they did. They bribed uh, certain cops and officials at, in the UK. So if that is linked to their parent corporation in the United States, which it most certainly is, right? It's their corporation, they bribed foreign officials, well, then they would be in a lot of trouble. We can't have that. So what a wonderful coincidence that Michael Mukasey, who also gets paid by News Corp, has decided to put his esteem behind this project of making sure we take away the foreign bribery laws. <laughs> Just when you thought your government couldn't get any worse.